go to jail. Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And uh, George Soros, the evil slime bag who's at least as evil as uh, Adolf Hitler was, he has his American Sandinistas organizing protests around the country for MoveOn.org. Uh, MoveOn.org is a wacko nutcase uh, leftist site. This is George Soros doing this, make no mistake. That's who runs MoveOn.org. Americans come together in hundreds of peaceful gatherings of solidarity, resistance, and resolve following election results. Hundreds of Americans, dozens of organizations, Gather yeah, peacefully outside the White House and cities and towns nationwide take continue to stand against misogyny, racism, Islamophobia, and xenophobia. No, you're traitors to this country. I'm sick of this. Tonight, thousands of Americans come together at hundreds of peaceful gatherings, cities and towns across the nation, including outside the White House. Following the results of Tuesday's presidential left election. Too bad. Gatherings organized by MoveOn.org and allies will confirm a continued rejection of Donald Trump's bigotry, xenophobia, Islamophobia, and misogyny, and demonstrate a resolve to fight together from the America we still believe is possible. You mean communism. Within two call hours of the call to action, moveon.org, we created more than 200 gatherings nationwide, numbers continuing to grow Wednesday afternoon. You know, scroll down, this is a disaster. No, it isn't. It's an election. Get over it. We fought our hearts to avoid this reality, but now it's here. MoveOn.org staff wrote to its members on Wednesday. New president elect and many of his prominent supporters have targeted, demeaned, and threatened millions of us, millions of our friends, families, and loved ones. Both chambers of Congress remain in Republican hands. Too bad. We are entering an era of profound and unprecedented challenge. A time of danger for our communities and our country. In this moment, we have to take care of ourselves, our families, and friends, especially those who are on the front lines fighting hate, including Latinos, women, immigrants, and blah, blah, blah. Go to hell! As long as they're peaceful, I don't really care. If I see him, I'm driving by, I will give him the universal gesture of ill will. I don't really care as long as they're peaceful. But we better watch this, because let me show you the next thing. Uh, Twitter erupts with calls for Donald Trump to be assassinated. So... These are the same people, by the way. My mom is talking about assassinating Donald Trump. Watch out for, watch out, guy. My white suburban mother is coming for you. That's from Doc. Trump ain't president till inauguration day. Laughing my ass off, you guys still have time to assassinate both Trump and Pence. Remember, these are the same people. So these are the American Sandinistas. Trump gets assassinated, then you all are going to have to going to have Michael Pence, and he's possibly even worse. So you need to assassinate both of them. That's from Molly. Tell your counselors. So which one of you greasy-headed, depressed white folk going going to take one for the? team and assassinate Trump. 
please. These are criminals, by definition. Al Chapo Jr. waiting on somebody to assassinate Donald Trump. You, uh, getting a picture here? This is nasty. Real nasty. These, uh, criminals can sit here, make these threats, so they don't get arrested. These are criminals, they are the American Sandinistas. Uh, Trump won the election despite all the uh, media standing up for Clinton, uh, hologram Hillary. He won the election anyway. It's time for you people just to live with it. And I address that you people who are doing these threats for up to me, you will be in prison right now awaiting trial. I uh, don't know if anybody will have you arrested and thrown in jail. You are barbarians. You are sick, diseased, and evil people. And you do not deserve to be free in a decent society. And if it up to me, a lot of you would be in a prison cell. It goes for anyone, you know, sitting there and threatening politician, even Obama. Hey, I'll say, I have no problem with saying the same thing about people who threaten Obama, even though I can't stand him. You don't have the right to do this. Well, this is about Trump, so, uh, all of you belong in prison, in my opinion. That's the way I see it. Go to hell. Go to jail. I want to fax to Mars. Thanks for watching.